Hey everyone, if your AirPods Pro won't reset, connect, or are just acting up, this video has you covered. I'll walk you through, through quick, easy fixes to get them working perfectly again. So let's jump right in this video now. Now the first uh, method I'm going to share with you is the one that worked for me. And it's the one that will potentially will fix your connection issues. So this method, we're going to have to reset your airpods so now first make sure you that's what you need to do make sure your airpods are in your change uh, charging case now you're gonna have to keep your lid open if you close them this is not going to work make sure you keep your your lid open and then what you're gonna have to do is to actually find this button, which is um, located right over here, the back of your case. Now you're gonna have to press and hold this button for about 15 seconds. Let's hold this, this button for 15 seconds. And now the light inside the case starts flashing, which it is right now. Now you're gonna have to keep holding this button until the until the light flashes orange, which it is right now, then changes to white. This means your AirPods Pro are not completely reset and ready for a new setup. So now if I open the lid, as you can see, unlock to connect. So now um, basically we reset the AirPods and we should just to click on here, unlock, tab connect. And then uh, the next screen will ask you if you want to enable personalized volume. This feature adjusts the sound to match your hearing preferences. So where I'd recommend enabling for the best experience. And after that, you'll see an option for announce calls and notifications. And if you want Siri to read out calls or messages while you're wearing the AirPods, turn this on. Otherwise, feel free to skip this. Then you'll get a quick overview of noise cancellation and transparency mode. Okay, now let me show you another method. Well, what you're going to need to do if you tried resetting them, but it's still not working. And uh, yes, I've got some other ideas for you is to actually go to your Bluetooth settings on your iPhone or on your MacBook. And what you're going to have to do here on with this method, it's super simple. So actually we need to turn off your Bluetooth. So go here to Bluetooth. I know my control panel looks different, but just go to Bluetooth here. And then here, go to Bluetooth settings. And then here in Bluetooth settings, you should see your AirPods. Just uh, just go on that list. If you don't see your AirPods, okay, uh, probably they are not connected. But in my case, click on this eye right over here. Just uh, click on this eye. Okay, and then here, what you're gonna have to do is to basically scroll down and then here you're gonna see forget this device or disconnect, okay? So just tab on forget this device and forget device. Sometimes just uh, just removing your device from your Bluetooth list can fix the problem. And that's something you should uh, try. Now what you need to do just basically to put your AirPods back in the case, keep the lid open and bring them close to your iPhone you should see a setup animation pop up on your screen and just follow the instruction to reconnect them. Now, another method you can try to fix this problem is if you have a Mac, you just have to connect your AirPods case with the AirPods inside using a USB-C cable. Okay, you have the USB-C. And what you need to do is just to leave the case connected about for about five to 10 minutes and make sure your Wi-Fi is on. The AirPods will automatically update during this time. Maybe you just need to update the your AirPods and that's uh, one solution. And now if that didn't work, I'm gonna show you the next method to try and fix your AirPods. So your AirPods won't connect to your iPhone now, what else can we do here? Well, what we can do is to try resetting the network on your iPhone. This can help with connection issues. Just keep in mind what will reset the actually Wi-Fi networks and passwords on your cellular data. 
and your VPN settings. So you might need to actually re-enter those later. So let's go to settings here. And now from here, what we're going to have to do after we go to settings. Now the next, the next step is to tap on general. So tap on general here. And then what you're going to have to do is just to scroll down and tap to uh, transfer or reset. Okay. And then from here, we're going to have to just uh, tab on reset, select uh, reset here. Then here you're going to see a couple of options. You're going to re reset all. So just tab on reset network settings. You're going to see here, forget it. You're going to have to also, while it's doing that, to plug your AirPods case in a power source using a USB C cable. Make sure you charge your AirPods. That's very important because if you're not doing this, it's not good, right? So just plug your AirPods. Make sure you look for the light on front of the case. It's showing, you know, no orange light. That means it's charging. And um, yeah, that's pretty important, right? To have your case charging. And now what if is what if this method is not working? I'm going to show you now the next one. Now, pretty much what you're going to need to do now, uh, which I have seen here on actually right on Reddit, <laughs> is that just clean your AirPods. Now, I never experienced this, uh, you know, my AirPods to get some dirt or stuff like that. And then it's just not working. They're pretty clean, you know, but just clean your AirPods. You can use um, a fiber cloth like this and just uh, clean your AirPods, right? You, you can try this uh, and uh, see if it's working. Let me know in the comment section if this method worked for you. Okay, Bo both AirPods, both. Let's, uh, let's clean. Okay, and also, of course, the case. Clean, clean, clean. Okay, nice. And uh, yeah. So open the case and push them, push your air, AirPods down gently to make sure they're fully seated in their slots. You should see the light on the case flash confirming they're connected and charging correctly. If they're loose or not sitting right, they might not reset or connect properly. Doing this can solve a lot of basic issues with the connection and also sound.